Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. We're gonna be talking about all kinds of good stuff, as always. We'll talk a little bit about the NX, uh, the Nintendo's console, Harmon X, uh, with some betas, Square <laughs> Enix, Supermassive Games, NBA, all that kind of thing. Slightly confusing. So yeah. we'll get into that here in just a second. Uh, my name's Will, this is Gage. Hello. This is Nine. Yellow. We have two hands. And let's talk about some news. So NBA. Um, <laughs> 2K, phenomenal game, NBA 2K16, some of you played it. It's an amazing game. Uh, they did a really good job. Sells over, what, two million copies in this first month? Million About one to million. two million. Something yeah. like that. First month. Um, did really well. Which is pretty good for basketball Well, that's game. actually pretty typical for NBA 2K. Yeah, uh, I, I think this particular year um, has been better than the past several years. Uh, the gameplay, super smooth, character creation is really good in it. Um, well done. Um, but uh, there is another NBA game out there that um, there? some of you may not realize. Uh, used to be a front runner for NBA titles back in the day. They used to play it all the time. Uh, there you go. Then it kind of fell apart. And then it, they came back in the past to think, what, this is the third year now that they tried to do yeah, something. But the third one. NBA Live. So uh, according to some numbers that just came out uh, not too long ago, it, within its first month, it sells less than 10,000 copies. So pretty weak here's songs. you at 10,000 copies. Here's your competition at one to two million. Yeah, now they're like way up here. So at it's this like, point. how do we get there? Is it worth making another game? <laughs> I mean, it's competition's always good. It's like kind of FIFA. And competition's always pets. good. There's no competition here. No, that's, that's 10,000 to two million. That's not even close. <laughs> that's not even 10 percent. Yeah, that's five percent. It's like the FIFA and Pro Evolution Soccer thing. Pro Evolution Soccer is a AAA title that Konami is going to support forever. Yeah, but... <laughs> when you talk about Pez like that. I'd like to see the sales numbers for those two games. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. FIFA versus that. Oh, I'm good. Sure but NBA Live, I mean, they, they've, they've tried... Uh, EA's tried to do a couple things. I remember uh, talking with them back in... Uh, you know, a couple of E3s ago, they're working on the, the ball control and character... Um, you know, animations and just different things to make it feel more like a basketball game. So that they seemed like they were putting all this development and effort and energy into making an awesome game, but people just are not getting behind this. They thing, are not right? buying it. They do not care. They just they just want their Spike Lee soundtrack and they want to move on. It's so interesting that a game that again was back in the day top. I mean, to, they were all right here, and then such a huge swing. Well, it went away for a reason. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it was a. A licensing thing, or what is that? It was like Madden. 2K used to make football games. I can tell you why it's not going to so stick around, too. Ah, uh, 2K. 2K football games? I used to play the 2K football games. On the Dreamcast? All yeah. These games were NBA awesome. 2K5. But then all of a sudden, same thing. The 2K games start going like this, and then Madden, of course. You know, um, so it's it's interesting to see how all that happens. Anyway, if you're watching and listening to Press Start TV, my name's Will. This is Gage. This is nine. Yep. Supermassive Games um, is moving on to a new game and has no future plans, um, as once rumored, to release until dawn DLC. Right. I'm okay with that. I am too. Just because. The Although they may be releasing plays. it VR support, I guess, or. They have a VR demo out. Using their assets, but it's like it's not like the Until Dawn you play. It's not like the game that you like. It's totally different. It's yeah. an on-rails, first-person survival. I am happy if that never the comes out. VR thing is? Yeah. Yeah. If that comes out and it's like, here, here you go. Push it on me. Just buy it, buy it, buy it. I'm like, I, I don't want to do it any more. Right. Just stop. Get out of here. I would be okay with the VR experience for the original game. I don't know how that would work, though. I don't either. But I'm no, just well, yeah, because it's... VR fixed. is a very first-person kind of experience. It would be better for, like, Silent Hill. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. We <laughs> talked about that on the checkpoint. PT. Not Thanks, specifically no PT. I'm just saying like that series. No. That, that game in VR was oh, just never. How terrifying. are you still that terrified of Dude, PT? But I'm you know how it plays. I'm incredibly and what terrified. I'm incredibly terrified. There's like of that four game. things that happen. Doesn't matter. Dude. Four. That Doesn't game. Man. It's incredibly terrifying. Yeah. Uh, pretty excited about that. I, I'm, I'm easily scared. I know. Yeah, but this game. I mean. This game messes your head up. And then put the VR element into it. Forget about it. <laughs> I would die. I would have a heart attack. That would be awesome. I would have a heart attack. I would break somebody's VR machine. <laughs> get it off. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. 
I think you guys are overreacting. No. I don't think it's that terrifying. Oh, you man. got scared by an android walking past you. Yeah, I did. An alien. Because well, that, that was wasn't the funniest thing. That wasn't world. supposed to happen. No, no, hold on here. If Your I remember a right, position. You got. You actually. Did we, you would do a stream with uh, him playing PT, right? Yeah, we recorded it, and I did get scared. Yeah. <laughs> he got scared because I got scared. Yeah. But then I went back, and you're watching it again, and it's just like well, it's not scary after that once you know what's happening, because it's like the same things that happen over and over. But you don't know when it's gonna happen. You don't know when it's gonna happen. It's so. Typically happens at the same time. No. Yeah. No. Even the creep is up when she's in the hallway waiting for you. You're like, she's not gonna do anything. I know she's not gonna do anything. It's not like, true. You know, it's, it's not this true. Part. If you walk towards her, she'll start walking towards you. That's why you don't walk. You just wait. You play and then the sometimes game. Sometimes she walks towards you anyway. Mm. It's very random. I refuse to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you what, man. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Um, <laughs> so Harmonix employees have been posting that uh, Rock Band 4 um, is just amazing. They've just been giving it all kinds of great reviews, and they're all behind it. Eric Boat. Yeah. Poor spirit. Like, why would you do that? I mean, I see. I know why people do it. I don't, don't do that. It's bad etiquette. It's bad etiquette. It's really it's unethical. It's like Kojima, or Kojima, Konami coming out and saying, Same yeah, Metal Gear Solid is the greatest game of the year. Before it's out. Before it's out. Yeah. Like, nobody's had the chance to play it but critics. And I mean... Critics don't decide those things. <laughs> you can look at it that way. I mean, I'm, I'm kinda, I kind of like the fact that they have appreciation for what they've done. I mean... Yeah, so do I, I'm though. sure they appreciate what they've done. Yeah. I it mean... It just feels like they're trying to shove it in people's faces by saying... Some people uh, not giving it the best reviews. Other people it's everybody's opinions. have been giving it really good reviews, but I don't see the middle of the road. I see people actually just the waste of time, can't stand it, or really love it. I, 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 the comparison to Guitar, Guitar Hero is still there, and the comparison I'm hearing is if you want to play like a core music game, play Rock Band and get your DLC, where Guitar Hero is more of like a fun pickup for a second, but game filled with microtransactions, which I know is... I don't know. I don't sword. like that. Yeah. I, I think my, my the way I explain it is um, I'll actually tell you right about that after this when oh. we get back. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. Um, as I was saying, uh, really quick to tie up that Rock Band thing, I think if you like co-op co experience with the whole band experience, Rock Band 4 is your game. If you like one to two player, hang out with a buddy, kind of first player thing, then Guitar Hero is your game. So you I have no wanted... friends. Like well, I mean, you, you could, with a buddy, I mean, or your wife, you know, a lot of people, a lot of married My wife people play like playing guitar. Oh, yeah. She likes drums. Or your Twitter well, feed. Okay. Where you're just kind of tweeting yourself, no one's responding. They're both good. We should definitely do a stream about that. That's going to be fun. We'll we stream about what? Some Guitar Hero rock band stuff, and I don't know, might be cool. Telling you, huh? Yeah. All that copyrighted music. Band How hammer. dare you? Oh, band yeah. hammer. Well, it's a game. It's out there. You can't stream it. But the music is not owned by the game. The music is still copyrighted by the artist and. You want to get sued, Will? Labels. You want to get? I don't want to get sued, man. <laughs> All right, well, if we can't do it, we can't do it. We'll so. play it on mute. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. Just turn the songs all the way down. Yeah, play our kind of defeats the whole it. purpose of the game. That's all right. Bah, bah, bah. Anyway, uh, let's talk like about uh, some, some like more it. stuff. Uh, Square Enix plans to make more HD remakes. Um, so, obviously, Final Fantasy VII was announced at this year's E3, which, uh, to the delight of pretty much the entire gaming uh, universe, I think. I'm um, excited just because they promised they would never do it. And, and people are <laughs> excited about that game. They so lied. A lot of people consider yeah. Final Fantasy VII to be the greatest game in the series, and I now guess. they're remaking it, so there you go. What are the games could they do? Eight, uh, nine, 10, 12. All right, yeah, yeah there you go. Those. Final Fantasy know. games. Uh, I mean, that's the, their biggest catalog. Sure, I mean, the Hitman games. The early yeah, ones are still I good. I can see them doing that, but the Hitman games... They put out a lot of Hitman games. The Hitman and trilogy it, came out. There's another new one coming games. out. The new one coming out's kind of got a funky design to it, though. Well, we don't know I mean, a whole lot popular. about it. But you get six open world areas to do whatever in, and you have to kill... So you're a Hitman in, in like, Grand Theft Auto's house. Yeah, like you get six cities to work in. Yeah, I can see how it works. Yeah. It, it works, but it's just it's a different formula. Okay. So, which is fine. I'm just, I'm just saying that's, that's what. Well, that's this gives me a, also Deus Ex. They could redo that. Yeah. The new one of that looks pretty good too. Mankind Divided looks awesome. You had some time with that at E3. Oh, right? so pretty. Yeah, thanks. Probably the most gorgeous looking game I've ever seen. Kingdom Hearts can finally come to next gen. But they've been remaking. Oh, they're this. doing that. Two point five. Or two point eight. 
or whatever it's called. Anyway, I, that, I don't that's know. Not, that's not like one and two, though. No, I don't know what other games they, they would do, but they have come out and said that they plan to con continue supporting HD remakes, and uh, that should be something. I imagine Final Fantasy is where they All the Dragon Quest from. games. It's got to be Final Fantasy. And Dragon Quest. They're wildly popular in Japan. Which, yeah. There's a new Dragon Quest that just came out. Yeah, 12 or 11 or something. All right, uh, so... Which is rumored to be on a console that we're about to talk about. Oh, also on a PS4. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. No, I got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just letting you know it's also on the PS4. Yeah, also. <laughs> Keyword in the sentence. Pay attention. This is Gage. Hi. This is Nan. Yeah. And my name's Will. So, um, as always, Gage uh, mentions that it's also on a particular other console, uh, the Nintendo NX. Apparently the dev kids have gone out and... Did you say kids? I think he dev said kids. kids. <laughs> dev, dev kits have gone out and some people are making uh, games for this thing already. Um, they still plan to release on 2016. What do you guys think? I, I still think so. Uh, I think <coughs> the NX is going to be a thing that has a really strong first party lineup. And I think that's you what do. Nintendo... Yeah, yeah I that's think, always Nintendo. I think Nintendo knows that their first party is where their bread and butter, you know, that's that's their company, their first party yeah. games. That's so they I, 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 the I don't think they released a console where they haven't had a good strong lineup of their own games. The Pick Wii U. One. We, the Wii U. Did I mean, not launch with a very good lineup. But they will have, like, they'll have Smash Brothers, they'll have Zelda, they'll have Mario, they've got a couple of different Mario yeah, games. Yeah, they'll have, and that's they'll, why they've been out. Right. But I mean, there is Mario Kart, there is Smash Brothers, there is now. Mario Super New Super Mario, there's Mario Only thing. Maker, there's more. You know, so they've got. I'm saying that they will have their first party of games. Sure. Um, I think out it's going to be built on the same kind of framework as the Wii U. Right. Which I don't think will give them the resources to just port games that they've already made very quickly. True. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. I mean, how is it gonna? If it's coming out next year, this is going to be right in the middle of Xbox One and PS4's kind of. Um, crisis. Well, uh, they just, you know, kind of right in the middle of the sweet spot where all the games are starting to look really, really good. We're experiencing some of the better games that are going to come out for this generation of consoles. How is it going to stack up? Uh, I, I think, I still think Nintendo is going to find third place, but I think it's going to be a closer third place. Uh, I still think that whole niche kind of we're doing some unique stuff doesn't really work over here in America like it does in Japan. Yeah. So that's why I think it's still third place. It depends here. on how niche it is, because the, the Wii was beyond Huge successful. Success. Sure. But I don't know if they're going to be able to capture that how again. How are you going to strike light, uh, lightning strike twice? it's you know? still possible that it's a handheld. And it, it, well, yeah, we still have hear reports that it's yeah, handheld it, and home console. It, that's right. We don't know exactly what it, it is. Both. So if it is a home console, yeah, I agree they'll probably still take third, but I just, you know, that's such a huge gap between PS4, Xbox One, and where they are right now. That is tough to compare. What's up? What if okay. it coincides with the Wii U and turns the Wii U into a portable system? I think they said it's totally separate. Is it? I think so. Yeah, they did. I missed it. I think it's a new thing. They're not replacing the Wii U, though. But this is your NX. It's got to be built on the same framework. It's got to be pretty close. Or the 3DS, one of the two. It's got to be. I would like imagine right it has to be because of those. how soon they're launching it. Well, they've been in development for it for years now. They've said that. True. They've been working on it since the Wii U came out. But it just doesn't make sense to me that they would release it. What? Four years after the Wii U? We four years into the Wii U or three? Four. Maybe they're concerned about their sales not doing well. I don't know. Well, I would be. If I spent all that money on a console and it's not doing well, I would be concerned. I'm trying to find something new. And they're going to support, uh, they've come out and said they're going to continue to support the Wii U with uh, good games and all that kind of stuff. But once again, we don't know what this thing is. We'll see how it comes out. We don't know if it's a handheld or a home console, but the Nintendo NX is a thing. It comes out next year, it's and possible. people are making games for it right now, so we'll see. Um, and to tie that full circle, D Dragon Quest was probably going to come out for that. Yeah, they, they, the rumor was that Dragon Quest is coming out for the NX. That's where Square got their dev kit. Yeah. There you go. When we get back, when we talk about betas, you love them, you hate them, right after this. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We were just talking about the Nintendo NX and Square Enix <coughs> and all that kind the of Knicks. fun stuff. Huh? The Nix? The Nix? think NX sticks? What? No. no I think it'll, it'll, be, I, it'll get rebranded before Pick. it comes out. <laughs> okay. Just like Pick everything else. Enix. Anyway, uh, let's talk about betas. Uh, as we mentioned a second ago, so... Betas are, are more and more of a thing. Um, there, there seems to be a lot of There's betas of coming out for a lot of the bigger titles. Um, is it just, 
Well, do we see game? I mean, betas for everything, right? Not not just one genre, but pretty much everything. Basically, anything that runs or depends a lot on online compatibility. Um, capabilities. And, true. Uh, multiplayer things like that. That's where you're seeing your betas. But we're even getting single player betas. Yeah, like um, the Dark Souls thing. Though, now is this Doom. is this a this is such a, a increasing thing? I mean, I think nine. We were talking about it just a second ago. Is this replacing the demo or? I think so. I think. It's no longer the word demo, and you just get a limited time with the game mm -hmm. for you know however long. Some of them do it for like a week. Some of them do it three days. Some of them do it twelve hours. Right. I mean, it, it's it's a short section to get a lot of data at one time. Right. Is the idea? I mean, a demo would be to <coughs> drive excitement, drive hype for people That's to the purpose anticipate of a demo. A yeah. demo, and then the beta the is to work out the bugs. Right. Beta, they I think, is a little bit of both. I think they want to drive hype up for the game, but at the same time they need to crunch data to figure out if the game will work at launch. Also the user feedback definitely helps shape the game. Right, exactly. And we've seen that plenty of times. Because you figure development companies have at most maybe two, three hundred play testers. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Right. That may be an over exaggeration because I don't even know. But you release a beta playing on your servers you can get hundreds of thousands to millions of people. I think the Star Wars Battlefront beta just had... had 6.7 million people. Yeah. Or no, 4.2 million people play it. 6.7 billion minutes. It was like 9.6 million ba uh, billion minutes. It was a lot. It, it, it was, was enough like the to biggest watch the beta in history. Yeah, it was huge for EA. Yeah, there you go. But uh, beta's a good thing. <laughs> Have Betas beta. are good as long as they're actually like utilized and not just there to... Drive hype. That's the thing. How much? How much information? How much? I mean, name a game where they released a beta and the game, the fin the finished product, massively changed as a result of launching the beta. I can. Dark Souls Two. Oh yeah. Huge changes from the beta to the actual final. In product. a good way. Yeah. So they recognize. Where, where were some of the? Do you remember this? Do, what, um, what were some input of the delay for combat for um, online capabilities? It was bad. Really bad. Lag was just atrocious in that game. Hit boxes were fixed and fine tuned. Um, enemy placements were fixed. How long before the, the finished game came out did the beta launch? The beta was in like October. The game came out in February. Okay. So about five months, four or five months. Four months development. Five right. Months of, uh, but stuff like that is, is easily changed through <coughs> parameters. I would say four months development. I mean, how much can you really do with a four to five month time frame? Because you still have to distribute the thing. Well, that's, your, that's your fifth month. I mean, your fifth month for, just, for going gold, being distributed, going out to right. your games are stuff usually thing. gold like four weeks before their release date. Yeah, so I have four months, probably a solid number crunching time. Here, here's two weeks of feedback. Let's put it in. Do God, it that's now. That's got to be nerve-wracking, right? If, yeah, I'm, a, if also, I'm a developer, I mean, I, I've got <coughs> I've got to fix these issues. Right. right. I think it's going to be nerve-wracking to be a developer. And, and I've got to do it on, I've got a four month time frame that I have to meet because mm -hmm. I've already enough and this is why the, the games get, get pushed back and all Halo's that Halo's beta thing. was last December yeah they had yeah. a and whole it comes year out. on it it's out just now yeah Halo's out a week ago <laughs> by the way you're watching listening to Press Start TV this is Gage this is Nine yeah Still here. mine as well um, alright so so yeah, I mean, you guys is there is there do we get concerned if we don't see a beta I mean at this point Probably because we're seeing a beta with just major everything. retail. I mean, we're not seeing a beta. We didn't uh, Fallout 4. Fall, I was just going to say Fallout. It's a single player campaign, though. This you is what I'm saying. What kind of games do you. Single player campaigns don't really need beta because you can play test everything that you need through play testers. So, 200 some people, chances are they're going to encounter most of the glitches. And you mentioned Dark Souls. It was the online thing that was the biggest. Right. So, is this, is this betas are specifically directed to. The online components? I think so. I think that what, what they want to do is they want to <laughs> test their servers. They want to see how much, so they don't Smart have that code. launch day traffic jam that a lot of people, get, like GTA Online, oh, what right. a travesty. In a heartbeat. Right. Should have had a beta for that. Uh, or should have soft launched at least. Not just like, it's open, go for it. Yeah. No, they. Now, I will say, to their credit, they've done a lot of things to make that great. Sure. But you're right. At launch, it was a nightmare. A nightmare. nightmare. Yeah, Master yeah. Chief Collection. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, that, that was that. just broken. I mean, it, that was it didn't work. From other issues, though, outsourcing four different games to four different developers yes. at the same time. But they could have. Did, did they do a beta for that? No. Probably not. No, yeah, they, did no not. they didn't test anything. They should have. They should have. I agree. I don't, think, I don't think it was stuff. the online. Battlefield 4. 
There was a beta for that. Yeah, and it's they, still still failed. broken. Yeah, so maybe I mean sometimes they don't have enough time to fix it, or they just don't listen. Or they or just don't I, listen. You know, what? I don't know. Or they're rushed by their publisher. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that go into the making of the game, but the beta is is overall a tool for the developer to fix. It's a good tool, and I think it's if you have the opportunity to do a tool. beta, do the beta. There's and nothing, listen to the If feedback. something bad comes from the beta, you have time to fix your game. If something good comes from the beta, As long as the beta's not like two weeks before the game comes out. Sure, or bad, like the racing game. <laughs> Yeah, so mostly, uh, <laughs> so there you go. I mean, beta is specifically, I, I, in our opinion, I guess, done for the purposes of online players and to make sure that the, the servers are working properly, everything's in good shape. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess I, if that's the reason, I, I would be a little concerned if you don't see you that. Don't, yeah, I mean, for obviously Especially for single-player game. Yeah, for most, if, you're, if you're a multiplayer game that expects huge sales and you're coming out on a holiday season, have a beta. Black yeah. Ops had a beta. Black Ops served it great because there's some issues with it. Yeah, Black Ops, Rainbow Six, Star Wars. Rainbow Six. Uh, Those games right there, a must, I think. They, absolutely, when they're yeah. focused on multiplayer, especially when have your core focus is multiplayer. Call of Duty, a couple different modes. Rainbow Six, specific modes that need to work properly, Basically and that then game around multiplayer. Battlefront, as we just said, one of the largest betas ever. Yeah. And with the hype of the movie and Star Wars, everything this year, it's going to be huge. Anyway, that's all the time we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. Check us out on PressStartTV.com. That's PressStartTV.com. Thank you as always. Until next time, we'll see you. Bye. Later.